Metal all over in this Ecotec engine. This primary chain looks new-ish, but the balance shaft chain, it's got a bit of wiggle in it, the secondary chain. So we're just like, where did all that metal come from? Ooh, that a big truck. See you later, buddy. So this is not the bolt that came in here. See how it looks different? And this spacer is chewed up. See those marks? Guide looks newish. What I think happened was this guide broke and the chain was rubbing on this spacer, sending metal into the oil pan. I literally just watched a video from Auto Tech Mike where that was happening. I think we figured out what, what happened on this one. I'm gonna drop this oil pan. It's a pretty easy one to do. You got a bracket here and a hidden bolt behind the AC compressor. Change these components out. But yeah, that bolt's not original, that's for sure. See, the more I look, the more I start to notice weird stuff like a broken off bolt in the oil pan. And we're just straight up missing the nut right there on the AC compressor. Yeah, this car has a story to tell. I don't know much about cars, but uh, that there oil looks a little green. All right, hands down. Metal. Let's take this plate off and see what we can see. And also, there's coolant in there. See the green? Don't know how it got there. Let's investigate. Bolts are out. Let's have our first peek. Peel up the windage tray. Right there's a mix of sludge and metal. Ugh. Let's see how our pickup tube's doing. All right, we have a mixture of metal shavings and black chunks. They almost look like rocks, but they're actually, I know this is the black guide that broke. So yeah, this guide did break in the past and send stuff down in here. Most of these shards, this right here, this is ground up black plastic along with metal and sludge. Now we got to determine where the coolant came from. Was it from them disconnecting things up top and some coolant got down in there because there was a little bit in the valve cover, just a couple drops. We had a bit more down in here. So is that coming from the water pump? Was it spilled coolant or head gasket? Once I have these components off, maybe I can get a little wiggle from the water pump or something. A little evidence somewhere of where this coolant is coming from or came from. Plain detective, I think I got her figured out. Just as I suspected, we got some shavings in the pickup tube. And none of these shavings are magnetic. That's all aluminum. I can't get anything to stick to a magnet. Looking at the shavings, it looks like they came from a drill. So I think the metal shavings came from the poorly installed helicoils. This was either a flipper car that needed timing, or they weren't confident on the job and sold it off. They quickly did the primary chain, but not the secondary. And you can see the coolant is not green in this system, it is red. So where did that little bit of green come from there and in the pan? It didn't come from the cooling system, so maybe somebody spilled some on it? I don't know. If you spilled a little on the top, it would drain down to the pan. I don't know. Was there some dye put in the oil? Let me know what you think, guys. There's more to the story than we're being told. Spooky.